The next in the series of beginners lessons is Dhatu Varishai, but we are not handling it now because Dhatu Varishai can generally be played without uh, the gamakas. You can play it with the flat notes. You just learned the placement of the notes. So more importance is given to learning where the notes are rather than gamakas. So you can proceed to learning it yourself. Now we will go to a Hechu Stai or Ucha Stai Varishai where you start using the notes that are above, beyond Sa, the right of the Tharas Thai Sarjam. I told you there are, Veena can play three and a half octaves. The topmost Thai is Tharas Thai, which you also have to play. So the top one, where you finish off your Sarli Varshai, the Arohanam of the Sarli Varshai is the basis, that is the start of the Tharas Thai. So the Sa, the Sa will actually be in the middle of, you know, when a Veena comes out, especially Tanjur Veena, when it comes out of the factory, it is generally comes with a series of markings. So you can usually go by the markings and otherwise you can put the markings yourself and there are three dots or three markings which are come one after the other successively the middle of the dots corresponds to the tharasthai and you stop there the one to the right that is the extreme right of the three is the suddharishabam in the tharasthai then leave two notes you come to the antaragantaram in the tharasthai then the next note after that will be the shuddha madhyamam in the tharasthai leave one note again, come to the Panchamam in the Tharasthai. It is similar to the Madhyasthai, except that the frets, the width of the frets becomes much smaller uh, because so much space is there and I think there is also some loss of physics, uh, the sound uh, to, for you to get those notes. So the, the frets become really small in size and you may not be able to place both your fingers. So you can just note how I am playing. Now we come to the the last, see there are five Hechustai or Uchastai Varishais, but each one is played as, with a cascading effect, you know, like if you play A, the second one is B. While playing the second one, you play B and the A. The third one is a C, you play the C, the B and the A. Fourth is D, you play the D, the C, the B and the A. Now the fifth one is E, you are going to play the E that goes up to the top Panchamam, top, the Tarasai Panchamam. Then you will play the one that goes up to Madhyamam. Then you will play the one that goes up to the Antaragantaram. Then you will play the Varishai that goes up to the Shuddharishabam. And then the, the last one which is the beginning. So I am now dealing with the fifth one which contains all the Varishais. So you can also, the individual learner can also play each of the Varishais and then proceed to play the fifth one. I am now playing the fifth one for you. I will play it in the second and third speeds with gamakam, without gamakam first and then with gamakam. <laughs> Now I'll play the same hechu sai with the gamakams and note the difference in the bhava.
while playing the uh, H.U. Stai notes, there may be a little bit of confusion because three uh, frets come together. I will now explain how one can play. But in course of time, you can form your own method also. This is the method that uh, generally it is followed. The, because the notes start with the, you go and land in the top sa and then you start playing each one of those notes. First you go up to re, you use this. The, ni, you can use both fingers. Then use, you can separate your fingers for sa and re. So instead of ni and sa, you can keep both your fingers on the and ni and separate them for sa and re. Then shift your fingers. Many shifts are required for this. You have to shift your fingers and then play the sa and ni the usual way. Sa and ni is usually sh separated for your sarli varshais. So you can play dhani sari sani dapa this way. And then when you go to the next one, the ga, you can use the same method dhani sari. Gari sari, you use both fingers, but since there is no place to keep both your fingers in ga, you can place one middle finger in ga and the next finger can be placed in the previous fret. Here, ga is played with both with the middle finger and then re sa you can separate. Re sa re you can separate. Sa re you can use the separation for sa and re because they are neighboring notes that are used. And then again you can shift to separate for sa and ni. Then, the third one, you go up to Ma. Ga and Ma are just in notes, so you can separate them like the way you did it in the Madhyasthai notes. There is no big difference. Gama Gari can be played this way. Sari, separate for Sa and Ri. You can play the note Sari Sani this way. Some people play it this way. Either of them is right. Whichever is convenient, whichever you get used to, you can play. Or both are right. Then for the one that goes up to pa. Ga, ma, pa. It's very simple because ga and ma you separate. Sari you separate. Ga, ma you separate. Pa, you can keep your finger, the middle finger in pa and the index finger in the previous fret. Gamma Pama you can play this way. Sorry. Risani you can play this way. Because the last one comes straight without a turn. You can play it this way. Dapa. Mapa. Dapa you can separate. Mapa you can keep both your fingers. 